Hey guys, we're back again. Oh my God. Oh my God. <laughs> this is a uh, second video ever. So like this is actually gonna be a thing. We're gonna be doing weekly, weekly content now. Holy crap. So uh, my second video, I'm pretty excited about it, but I did get some notes on my last one. So I'm pretty new at this whole YouTube thing and I made a mistake. So first mistake was that at the beginning of the video, I asked you guys to like and subscribe. I'm not supposed to do that. So here's me not asking you to like and subscribe. Great, now that's done. Uh, I got another note and uh, this person said that I should smile more. So I'm gonna fix that, I'm gonna smile a little bit more. So here we go. Are we uncomfortable yet? <laughs> All right, well, let's just get right into this thing. So this week we're going up against the critics of skill-based matchmaking, not skill-based matchmaking itself, the critics of it. So if you guys don't know what skill-based matchmaking is, pretty simply, you go to play Call of Duty, uh, back in the day you play Halo, maybe Battlefield, whatever uh, online multiplayer game you can play, and skill-based matchmaking is just that. You get matched with other people who are similar in skill to you. So people who have a similar kill-death ratio, uh, similar scoring per game, similar movement per game, and stuff like that. It's it's meant so that you're playing games with people who are equally as good or bad as you are. Here's the thing, there are some people out there who bluntly hate skill-based matchmaking, or SBMM. Now, Call of Duty Cold War was just released a couple weeks ago, and it's currently sitting at a 3.4 out of 10 on Metacritic, which is not good, like not good at all. And the reason it's sitting so low is because a lot of people aren't happy with the skill-based matchmaking. They're saying it's ruining the game, it's making games too tough, players need to go all out in order to win games. They're saying it's making the game too hard to play, uh, it's a grind. There's a lot of pro gamers and streamers out there who are complaining that these matches are just too hard. There's uh, one specific streamer who said he was dead after playing the alpha, the pre-release, for nine hours because the games are so hard because they're going up against people who are just as good as them, right? Now, personally, I really enjoyed Call of Duty Modern Warfare. I just started playing Call of Duty Cold War and I will give you more review when I put some hours into that game. But skill-based matchmaking was a thing for Modern Warfare. I personally enjoyed playing those games because I was going up against people who were just as good as me and I felt that when I did good in those games, I was actually getting better at the game. Pro guys, these streamers aren't feeling it. They point to games like Call of Duty Black Ops 2 and Halo 3 that got multiplayer right with ranked and unranked and all that good stuff. But here's the thing, Max Hoberman, who was the lead for the uh, Halo 2 multiplayer developer guy person, he's the guy who led the team who made the multiplayer, has said that skill-based matchmaking has been around since Halo 2. And do you know when Halo 2 was released? November 9th, 2004. So that was almost a little bit over 16 years ago that skill-based matchmaking was implemented into these multiplayer games. Now, what's the difference? The only difference then was that you had the choice of going into a ranked game or an unranked game. So you don't really do that in the Call of Duty Modern Warfare. You don't have that in Call of Duty Cold War. Now, there is a vocal minority, or maybe I'm in the minority. I don't know, let me know in the comments, but there is this large group of people that are saying skill-based matchmaking is ruining the game. Now, again, I said vocal minority earlier, and that vocal minority could be upwards of hundreds of thousands of people because these games sell millions of units, right? And these people are saying, no, skill-based matchmaking is ruining the game. When, if you actually look at the numbers, it's not. It's actually making it so that there's more people wanting to play the game. The developers found that the more people are playing with people of comparable skill level, they come back to the game and play more because they see that they are winning more, still losing, but at least still having fun and not getting rocked by these pro guys who just come in and destroy them because they're so freaking great. Now, personally, I like that a lot. I really, really do. I don't think skill-based matchmaking is going away anytime soon. I don't think it's ever gonna go away, but 
I, I guess they, there is something that I do agree with. I do like the idea of having ranked and unranked lobbies. Like, you know that if you go into the ranked lobby, it's gonna be a little bit tougher. You're gonna have to grind a little bit. And if you go into the unranked lobbies, you can kind of chill out and kind of have fun and just uh, do whatever you want. I do get that. But again, I don't see the issue with having skill-based matchmaking and not having a ranking system and just being like, hey, these are the people you play with. And uh, as you get better, you're gonna play with people who are better as well. I like that a lot. But again, this is my opinion. What do you guys think? Uh, do you like skill-based matchmaking? Do you not like it? Am I completely wrong or am I completely sort of kind of right? Let me know. But if you want to hear a little bit more about that, we do take a deeper dive into it on the Super Average Gaming Podcast, where you can find wherever you listen to your podcasts. So Apple, Spotify, Google, Amazon, uh, iHeartRadio, wherever. It's a, it's, a, it's a fun listen. So yeah, uh, but until the next video, guys, please hit that subscribe button. I can do it now, because I'm at the end of the video. We, we're good, it's fine. It, now it's okay to do it. Uh, please subscribe, please hit the like button. Leave, leave your thoughts, leave your comments. I really wanna know what you guys think uh, so that I can see if I'm wrong or right, or a little bit of both. But until next week, guys, I uh, hope you have a good week. I hope you're staying safe, and I like your butt. Peace.